What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my go-to DAW that I use every single day. And I'm pretty sure you guys know which DAW I'm talking about, right? It is Cubase and the other one is MPC Beats. I made a lot of videos talking about MPC Beats as well, like how to render the MPC Beats straight to Cubase without having to render it out from MPC Beats and then import it to Cubase, right? So there's a lot of really nice workaround that I've created so far. And I'd like to share with you guys why I use MPC Beats and Cubase uh, like almost all the time to produce music and also sometimes for sound design and film scoring, all right? So let's start with Cubase and why Cubase is my goal to DAW, right? So I've tried other DAWs as well, like um, Pro Tools, Studio One, FL Studio, Reason, and uh, I tried a little bit with Ableton when I got this APC. They gave me a copy of Ableton Live Lite, um, but I didn't really uh, understand what it is. Actually, it's kind of different from other DAWs, uh, like for instance, Cubase and Studio One. So I don't really have time to really explore that DAW. I see DAW as an instrument, okay? And instrument is only going to help us create music, right? It's not going to... Uh, decide whether I'm good or not based on which DAW I'm using. I have started with Pro Tools and then I moved to Cubase and I was using Cubase for a really long time until I tried other DAWs like Reason, FL Studio and then Studio One, all right? So I really love all these DAWs, okay? I'm not gonna bash any of the DAW because I think uh, it's, there's no reason to claim or fight for which DAW is the best. Um, for me, DAW is just an instrument for me to translate my musical ideas to the real world, right? Except for Cubase, Cubase is not only an instrument, but it's more like a home, right? And home as in, for instance, let's say you have a house, let's say this is a studio, you have a studio and you bring your instrument to your studio to make music, right? So Cubase for me is the home, right? So I've used FL to make a beat and Reason to make a beat and then go back to my Cubase uh, because I want to bring those beats that I make and then produce it in Cubase. The reason why I do that is because Cubase is the most stable DAW that I ever used. Stable as in it crashes less compared to other DAWs. I've used Studio One, Pro Tools, FL, Reason, right? All these DAWs crash including Cubase as well. But when Cubase crash, I know exactly why it crashes. For instance, I have a project with over 150 tracks with 50 over VST plugins, right? It's kind of heavy project. So I know it crashes because of that. But all the other DAW, especially Studio One and FL Studio, I, I usually use less VST plugins and they don't really handle that well. So since Steinberg, is the one who created VST. So VST works really well with Cubase compared to other DAW, all right? I'm not saying that you cannot produce a song with Studio One and FL Studio or any other DAW. However, when it comes to stability, I'm used to have a really good DAW for more than 10 years, right? Uh, it, and I know how it operates, why it crashes. I know exactly why it react in a certain way, right? But when it comes to other DAW, I couldn't understand. Like for instance, there's one time I was just exploring Studio One. I added a video track and then I used Control and Shift and my mouse wheel to zoom in and out, right? The moment I do that, it just crashed on me and I don't know why it does that, right? So I contact uh, the Facebook group and also the uh, technical support and they were not able to find a resolution for me. So the only thing that he asked me to do at the end of that, I mean, trial and error, he asked me to reformat my computer, right? So I can't afford to do that while I'm in the middle of a project or a couple of projects, right? So I told the technical support, and oh, by the way, they are really good. So the moment you send a ticket, they will get back to you right away. So kudos to Studio One for that. Um, but, I can't be wasting my time trying to figure out why it, why it's happening, right? Control shift and the mouse wheel 
crashes Studio One, which doesn't make any sense, right? It's the same case with FL Studio. I was using FL Studio to make a beat, and I was only having about two or three tracks, like VST plugins, and yeah, yeah, I understand it's a kind of heavy VST plugin. However, it's not as stable as Cubase. So if I use the same amount of plugins in Cubase and same amount of plugins in FL, I can clearly see how stable Cubase is, which is why I'm so used to this kind of stability for more than 10 years. And it's kind of annoying me because the other door could not have that, the same stability, right? So that's one of the reasons. Actually, I, I said there are a couple of reasons there. But uh, this is why I use Cubase. And, I, and I'm still going to be using Cubase because I know that they really care about the, their users, right? Although there are some of the features that I have requested which is not being added yet. However, Cubase 13 was a really great upgrade, I would say. It's more stable, more fast, and we got all the features that we wanted, right? So thank you, Steinberg, and thank you, Greg Ondo, for always answering our questions in live chat. And I learned a lot from that live stream. So let's talk about MPC Beats now. Why MPC Beats? So MPC Beats is very easy on CPU. The moment you launch MPC Beats, it's only going to take a few seconds to fire up, right? Let's say if I, I have some kind of ideas in my mind and when I launch Cubase, it usually takes some time for it to launch because it's going to be scanning a lot of plugins and I have a lot of plugins here. I prefer to launch MPC Beats instead. So let me click on this now, right? And it just launched right away. So once I've laid down my ideas, what I'll do is I will save it, right? And then I'll go to Cubase and I will add MPC Beats as an instrument. And I will just use MPC Beats within Cubase and complete the project. I've done that a lot of times, right? So I feel like using Cubase and MPC Beats, they are both, it's like a perfect couple that helps me produce music faster, lay down my ideas faster, and all that cool stuff, right? So the first reason was MPC Beats is very easy on CPU and it launched fast, right? The second one, actually this should be the first one. MPC Beats, it's free, right? It's free, you get two audio track and eight MIDI track. Let me tell you guys that you can produce great songs with this limitation, right? Eight audio, sorry, eight MIDI tracks and two audio tracks, right? With this limitation, you're actually forcing yourself to create a beat that is really catchy. And at the same time, you don't tend to add a lot of stuff within that beat, right? So I find that liberating, right? I don't want to have over a thousand tracks for a beat. It doesn't make sense. However, when it comes to producing the whole song, eight tracks and two audio tracks, eight MIDI tracks and two audio tracks is not enough, which is why I'm thankful I have, I have Cubase, right? So now, now I can produce the beats in MPC beats and I can use Cubase for all my music production, recording, mixing and mastering, right? So that's the second reason I use MPC beats and I think you guys should do as well, right? And I also made a video about how to use MPC beats within Cubase. So you guys can actually use it simultaneously, you know, like an added, uh, like an add-on door within Cubase, all right? Another cool thing about MPC Beats is, like I said before, it's very easy on CPU. I can even use a laptop with i3 processor and make a beat with it. And they also have an option to use the laptop keyboard to, you know, tap on it to create a beat, just like pads, right? So I find that very useful especially when i'm traveling i don't want to carry all my stuff there no interface no mic none of that right i just bring my laptop and when i'm free while i'm traveling i just launch mpc beats and then see if i can sample something and produce a beat there and i'm looking forward to getting mpc hardware as well because i feel like i kind of know how mpc operates and uh, the sampling thing is really fun and Yep, so it's a perfect marriage. You, I use Cubase for film scoring and I use MPC Beats 
for beat making, right? I can also make beat with Cubase, right? But I don't think I can score a film with MPC beats. However, they both are a different types of DAW, but works well together as a, as a family, right? So that's my go-to DAW, Cubase, and MPC beats. Okay, guys, so that's all for today. And thank you so much for watching. By the way, this is my new studio. I just moved here and I still haven't uh, do all the necessary stuff like acoustic treatment and stuff, uh, which I will do soon. And you'll be expecting more videos from me from next week onwards. All right. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.